What's going on guys? Just wanted to give you a quick update of what I got going on here. Uh, this is my new 2021 Ducati Street Fighter V4. <laughs> so I sold my MT-10 in 12 hours full price cash offer. It went super quick. Um, and let me do a little spin around for you. I am now out on my property, which those white stakes are where the house is going to go. And as you can see, it's nowhere near being started, which really sucks. So I thought I was going to be able to be fine with no motorcycle because I got my ATV here. You know, I got all this property to zip around on and have fun. And yeah, it's just, it was killing me I, I that I couldn't ride and get on the street. I, I Don't get me wrong. I'm not trying to be greedy or anything like that, but this is an awesome, awesome bike. I bought my dad one for Christmas too. Uh, so we got matching, you know, Kodiak 700s. Um, but there's just nothing like the street. And there's nothing like this motor and these kind of bikes. Um, this bike is absolutely amazing. I literally just bought this today. Um, <laughs> This is my garage for right now. I'm actually, I am, I have my buddy's toy hauler out here. We are living in my uh, travel trailer RV while my house is going to be built. And my buddy parks his toy hauler here. As you can see, I'm, well, you can't see, but I'm using it for storage. And which is fantastic as a toy hauler so I can put my stuff in here. I got the kids dirt bikes and a shed I bought. This is a real cluster like I never dreamed of. <laughs> and especially this, I, I thought for sure I wouldn't need another motorcycle because I was out here and I love it. And I do, it's beautiful as you can see. I've got like 25 oaks up there. That's just the front half of it. The back half has nothing but, um, hang on, let me, I'm sure I've showed you this before, but all these huge oaks, there's an acre and a half back there and I've got a shooting range and I got dirt bike trails, it's awesome. But I just cannot give up this street bike stuff, I guess. Um, it was killing me. Um, so I did it. <laughs> I went out there today. My local dealer, um, you know, they just wouldn't budge on their pricing. I went to, I think it's Ducati of Sanford or Sanford Ducati. Forgive me, guys. But listen, they were amazing. These guys were absolutely amazing. They did exactly what they said they were going to do. Um, and, and, you know, gave me the price exactly what they said they would. There was no, Oh, I'll give you this price. I get there and they changed it. Uh, they were fantastic. Uh, I'll leave the, a link for them in, in the description below. Um, you know, they're not paying me to do this or anything like that. They were just, I was really, really impressed with their service. Um, they had a huge selection of bikes too. Um, and they were moving like extremely quick, like, three street fighters were going as mine was going to the back of my truck. Um, so I drove up there about three and a half hours, but anyways, <laughs> back to this bike, this thing is amazing. Um, I've not a huge Ducati fan. I'll be honest with you. I've had uh, a couple Ducatis before, specifically the hyper Motard. Uh, it was a cool bike. Uh, nothing really wrong with it. I had a couple recalls on it, which all these European bikes seem to have the S thousand, uh, um, uh, double R, I actually thought about getting, but gosh, there was so much stuff going on with that thing. This motor's been out for a little while. I'm not saying it's perfect, uh, but my goodness, this bike is unbelievable. Um, I put it in race mode. Actually, the, the way it, it sounds better in sport mode, I wish I, I guess I should have pulled it out and I just got back and I put it up and then decided to do this video, but I should have um, pulled it out. I'll do, I'll do more videos. Um, so, uh, this, this thing is amazing. Um, you know, of course you get this, you know, honeymoon phase where it's brand new and it feels amazing, but listen, I just got rid of a highly modified MT 10 exhaust tuned. Uh, and there is no doubt in my mind, this will blow the doors off that thing. The only thing I don't like it. And I guess I, I just got to figure out, there's so many electronics on this thing. It's unbelievable. But, um, where did I put my key? But it's a really cool display. It does lots of stuff that I don't know how to do yet. 
Um, and I just figured out how to get it in race mode on the way home, which was pretty awesome. And then it's got the wheelie mode on it. I was doing like 70 miles an hour and gunned it in fifth. And it pulled up, but it shot me straight down. I mean, power only thing is incredible. Um, but it, it threw me right back to the ground. Like, you know, I was two inches off the ground, then boom, threw, slammed me right back down. Um, which is a bummer. I, I think it's a, it's an absolute beast of a machine. And uh, I just got to figure out how to take the wheelie control off so I can wheelie this thing. Quick shifter up and down. Holy moly. I thought the MT-10 was good. Sometimes I have to look and see if I change the gear. It's so smooth. Um, hopefully it stays like that because uh, it's absolutely amazing. Um, I, I don't want to start it in here because I don't want to get it even hotter and back here, but I'll do another video, of course. And it uh, it sounds pretty throaty. Actually, my, my wife was visiting one of her friends in another neighborhood, and I went over there and met them over, and she's like, it sounds just like your old bike. So I was like, oh, okay, good, that's good, because my uh, the Austin racing bike uh, pipe um, sounded sweet. And the all the exhausts for this are like four thousand and three thousand, two thousand dollars, and uh, I don't know, I don't know if I'm gonna do exhaust on it or not. I I bought it to keep it stock. Um, you know, I got all the mirror stuff coming. They're already actually sitting in there now. Uh, this tail thing is going. That's ordered. I think that'll be here next week. So I'm not going to go crazy with it modification-wise because it's such a pretty bike just as it sits. Gosh, it looks awesome. And it's got those wings on there. It's supposed to work at 168 mile per hour, which I've not done yet. Uh, things incredible though. Um, so anyways, guys, I just wanted to give you a quick, uh, show you what I got. Not great video. I know I'm sorry. I just thought about it as I was putting it away and it's dark. Uh, but, um, I will do a much better, more in depth, maybe at work. <laughs> uh, when I bring it Sunday, I'll do a better video. Give you guys a little bit of a walk around the startup and all that. And, uh, some of the mods I plan to do to it. All right, guys. See ya.